Josh, what are we doing here, man? He's riding. He's riding with Wahi. Hey, everybody. This is Adam, MotorcycleUSA.com. We're here at Thunder Hill Raceway with none other than uh, Josh Heron, number eight on the Graves Motorsports Yamaha YZFR6. Josh, tell us, what, we're, what are we doing here today? Uh, well, we're here for uh, the shift sales meeting. Uh, there's like 30 or 40 reps out here, and uh, I think uh, maybe getting some, some more road racers out of this. It's uh, a lot of dirt bike guys, so it's their first time on the track, so we've just been tearing it up and having some fun. Josh, what, what's been going on with your season? I know that you're right now, we're coming into Barber in I think one or two weeks, and you, you could have a chance to win this damn Daytona Sport Bike Championship. Uh, yeah, it's been a real dogfight this year. I mean, it's basically me, uh, Eslick, and Cardenas going for it. And, uh, I can't wait to go to Barber. It's one of my favorite tracks, and um, hopefully we'll leave there with a number one. But uh, if not, we'll just uh, keep our heads high into next year. Cool. Talk a little bit about this season this far. I know it's kind of been a little bit of ups and a little bit of downs, a lot of, like, you know, like, like wins and then, like, a lot of crashes. And is it, has it been just because the level of competition so high, or what's been going on? Um... You know, we, we've we pretty much had a really good consistent year. We crashed out of one race. We were in second. Uh, you know, we couldn't have really prevent it. It was just something that doesn't really happen that often. And uh, then we um, kind of got it got it flowing again, and we got taken out at VIR. But we've, uh, just like last year, we've come fighting back and, and gotten back up into the championship chase. And it's been a year to remember. It's uh, I think we have six wins now, so it's it's going to be it's going to be good. DSB, how, how, how has it been going like as far as the series and stuff? Is, do you think the series is starting to get some like wind behind its sails and starting people starting to really like it? The racing's getting better. Like, what are your thoughts as a rider? Because you, you raced before Daytona Sport Bike, so what do you think? Is it going good? Uh, yeah, I think it's going good. Uh, the biggest thing before was just the tires. The Dunlop tires have always been really awesome. It's just, uh, you know, we've, we've struggled trying to get the setup on them, and uh, now that we've got the setup and pretty much everybody else does, it's... It's been uh, really good, and I think the Daytona Sport Bike class, compared to Super Sport before, they've, they've, it's always been a really stacked class with a lot of talented riders. And, uh, but now that, now that we have the spec fuel and the spec tires, it's just brought everybody kind of close to each other, and we have the weight limits, and you know, pretty much everything is pretty equal right now, and it's, it's making the racing a lot better. It's making a name for itself, and hopefully next year uh, it'll stay the same and, and uh, be good again. Um, talk a little, little bit about like the Yamaha R6. Um, I think it's probably in its second or third year in its life cycle. How's the development of that been going? Is it still going good? Is Yamaha still behind you guys? Uh, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, the Yamaha R6 is, it's changed a little bit in the street version, but it's basically, other than the fly-by-wire and a couple other little things, it's been the same since 06, and that's, you know, that was the first year I did AMA on it. And uh, so luckily for me, I've been able to just, you know, stay on the same bike basically for the past couple of years. And there's nothing on these bikes that isn't, you know, top level. It's it's unstoppable right now. I mean, if we're we're having a good weekend, it's it's the bike to beat. There's nothing else that can beat it out there, and they've they've really treated me well, and it's really awesome. Now, uh, what's going on with your personal life, like outside of racing and stuff? What have you been up to, man? Where are you living? Uh, right now we live in Georgia. We uh, we have a track at our house, so we just pretty much ride that whenever we can, whenever we're home. I've only been home for like three days this whole month, so it's been uh, it's been really exciting. Been traveling a lot. It's like a dream come true to be able to race motorcycles and and uh, not have to worry about doing another job on Monday or something. But it's I'm grateful for it, and it's it's treated me really well. And you know, if it wasn't for the fans coming to the races and you know watching these videos online and paying attention, it wouldn't we wouldn't be here. Talk about like what's a typical weekend for you at like like how does Barbara go down like when you fly in like do you have any like kind of things you do or like any like you know special meals you eat or what's your program basically at a race weekend? Uh, for me, I fly in usually on Wednesday night, and then uh, we have a team meeting Thursday, go to a dealership autograph session on Thursday night, uh, you know ride throughout the weekend. Eating wise, I I've always had problems eating on race weekends. I always uh. I usually can't get anything down, but but uh, you know our our cook that we have at Yamaha is really good, so he'll whip me up some good stuff that'll kind of force me to eat it just because it's so good. I can't sleep on race weekends. I go to bed at like two in the morning every night, and it sucks. I mean, I don't have any fatigue or anything from it, but it's just like I'm so anxious to go ride every day that it's just I can't sleep. So going to uh, race on Saturday and Sunday is just something I look forward to two months in advance. It's, it's awesome. 
Now we have this 2010 Yamaha, Yamaha R1 behind us. When when do you think you're gonna be riding R1s, man? What's up with that? Uh, you know, I'd like to say next year, but there's nothing set in, set in stone. Uh, I can't really say, but uh, you know, there's a chance we could be on a 600 again, or there's a chance that we'll be in superbike. Uh, riding superbikes always been one of my dreams, and uh, I'd really like to do it. I'd like to do it with Hayes as a teammate. I think it would be. You know, really good learning experience for both of us, and uh, to work together would be really good. We get along on and off the track, so I think that'd be awesome. He's obviously shown that it's a winning bike. I mean, it's capable, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get on it. I'm, if I get on it, I'll be I'll definitely be up there. I'm not going to go and mope around on it. I'll be uh, I'll be fighting for everything I got. So. Cool. What about like your aspirations after that? I mean, do you? Would you like to go to World Superbike or MotoGP? I mean, did you go to Indy? You went to IndyGP, you said, right? What'd you think? What'd you think about it? Oh, it was cool. You know, I try to try to get out to every kind of event like that that I can, just to go see what what the rest of the world's up to. You know, racing. You, uh, we usually just get to see it on TV, and to see it come to the states is awesome, and to see the crowd that it brings out is really awesome. And I, for me, it's the fans. I mean, I love the fan base. I love when people come up to me and you know want to autograph or just want to talk. It's it's awesome. We're I flew into San Jose to come here, and we were at Chipotle, and, and a guy recognized me, and it's just, he was kind of like embarrassed or it felt bad to come up to me and talk, but uh, for me, I love it. It's, I think it's awesome, and it's always been a goal of mine to just, uh, you know, get the biggest fan base. I like to put myself out there on the race weekends and sign as many autographs as I can and interact with the fans, so uh, to go race over there would be awesome, just mainly for that purpose. And if, if I went to any world level, you're racing against guys that I've been looking up to my whole life, pretty much. And uh, you guys, guys like Biaggi and Nicky Hayden, you know, either way, either way you go, it's uh, it's cool. Anything else you want to add or talk about? Uh, I'd like to thank Shift for putting on this event. It's been really cool to uh, meet all the dealers and and to get to go ride. You know, I've got to thank all my supporters. You know, just for everything, it's it's awesome. The fans, you know, my family, my girlfriend Tisha. Uh, Graves Yamaha, they've been just amazing to me. It's uh, it's really a dream come true to have a, a team like that, and uh, hopefully I can, you know, stay my whole career with them. It, it'd be awesome. I like to see guys like, you know, Wayne Rainey that have been with Yamaha for so long that it's like they're kings. You know, it's awesome, and uh, it's uh, I hope I hope that one day that's me. You know, I don't I don't look forward to getting older, but you know, hopefully one day I'm the guy, you know, going around giving support to the young guys and uh, seeing the sport grow. So. Cool, man. Well, that's it from Thunder Hill with Josh Heron. It's time to go rip around on our Yamaha YZF-R6s and R1s. See ya.